Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the brand new AMD A856 k Trinity APU. I've already tested the A1050 800K and so I'd like to show you the results of the A856 800K. For those of you that don't know what an APU is, well APU stands for Accelerated Processing Unit. This means there's a traditional CPU inside and integrated graphics. And these two units are combined together on such a single APU chip. But here's the box. Again we're looking at the A856 k or also known as A8560K. Here are some specifications and this APU is only compatible with the new FM2 socket. And AMD recommends going with the A85X flagship chipset on your motherboard. But you can of course also run it with the A75 and A55 chipsets. The box looks very nice in my opinion and it got a lot smaller compared to the previous generation Lano APU boxes. On this side AMD basically tells you more about the dual graphics technology. So you can combine the integrated graphics with a discrete graphics card to get even more performance. Here's a little table that tells you what will basically run in dual graphics mode or also known as crossfire. The A10 series goes with the HD6670 and 6570. Same for the A8 series. The A6 series runs with the HD6570 and 6450. I will not test dual graphics in this video, but I'll make a separate video on that, don't worry. On the back of the box you get the description in different languages. I really like the black color AMD went with for the box. That's because you can overclock this unit very easily since you have an unlocked multiplier. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. Alright, that's the AMD manual and warranty. This is the stock cooler and it looks fairly simple but isn't very large. This means the APU most likely will not run hot. Thermal piece comes reapplied already and the fan uses a 4 pin fan connector. And last but not least the APU and the plastic protection even with the sticker. Now I'll take out the processor and there it is. It looks very beautiful. On the back as always are the pins and there's some free space of pins in the center just like we used to see it on the FM1 socket. For this test I'll be using the Gigabyte GA F2 A75M V3H motherboard with the A75 chipset. And as for cooling I'll go with the stock cooler. But now let's move on to the specifications. The AMD a 8 k is a quad core Trinity APU that has a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a turbo clock of 3.9 GHz. The AMD Radeon HD 7560D graphics is embedded and the TDP of this APU is 100 watts. The 32 nanometer architecture is still used and there's absolutely no level 3 cache. Instead you get 4 megabytes of level 2 cache. Dual channel DDR3 1866 memory is supported natively. As you can see in CPU-Z the APU gets detected without any problems. The voltage is very low, the latest instructions are used and to save some energy the APU will run on lower frequencies on idle instead of constantly staying at 3.6 GHz. Like I've already said before this a 8 k has an unlocked multiplier and therefore you can overclock this processor very easily. As for the memory support, well I have a DDR3 2000 MHz RAM kit installed but I couldn't get it to run at the rated frequency without overclocking the platform. This means I'm running this at 1866 MHz. In GPU-Z you can see the HD 7560D integrated graphics gets detected. The specs look pretty good and just like the last generation HD 6550D on the A8 3850 or 3870K, DirectX 11 is fully supported. But now let's move on to the benchmarks. This is my test system. Thank you. 
The AMD A856-K APU is definitely a very good choice for people that are on a tight budget. The 5600K offers good CPU performance but even better GPU performance. It's a little complicated to compare this APU with the competition, so Intel's Core i3 processor. In terms of CPU performance, the i3-3220, the smallest one of the Ivy Bridge lineup, still beats the A856-K which is a fairly high ranked model of the Trinity lineup. But if you move on to the graphics performance, well, you quickly realize that it's almost impossible to do something with the Intel HD 2500 graphics. The performance is simply too low and therefore gaming will pretty much be impossible. The powerful Radeon HD 7560D offers amazing performance though. Of course, you could never expect to see frame rates like you would on mid-range to high-end discrete cards. But for what it is, an embedded GPU inside an APU is really really powerful and almost every single game is playable at the time of this video. Some games can even be set to higher settings. Then if you'd like even more performance without spending too much extra money, you could just get yourself a HD 6670 or 6570 and pair the integrated graphics up with one of these two discrete cards. In the end, Intel still has the performance crown, but just consider this amazing price and the offered features. This APU is fully unlocked while the i3 is not. So in simpler words, the a 856 k offers similar CPU performance to the Intel Core i3-3220. But as you saw in the benchmarks, much much better integrated GPU performance is offered. Also in terms of CPU performance, there isn't so much difference between the a 10 k and this A8 model. On idle, the a 8 k was able to beat the i3-3220 in terms of power consumption, but once the machine is on load, Intel still wins. Overall, I think this APU is pretty good and in the end you have to choose whether you go with Intel's Core i3 or AMD's a 8 k Pros are good price performance ratio, amazing GPU performance so the HD 7560D, then I like the low temperatures, then this APU also supports high frequency memory and it also has an unlocked multiplier for easy overclocking. For the cons I can only say one thing, the CPU performance could have been a little better but other than that I give this APU a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.